Day 92, you're going to build your very own weather app. Now, understandably, getting up-to-date weather data using APIs is somewhat of an expensive job. So I've tracked down one free one for you and given you this code that you see on your screen right now. All you need to do to customize it for you is to put in the code for your time zone, mine's GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, and the latitude and longitude of where you live. That could be the nearest city or the nearest town. The API call will then return some weather information to request the maximum and minimum temperatures and the weather code. The weather code is just a code that represents the type of weather forecast. I'll pop that on the screen at the moment, and it'll also be available in the tutorial pane on the left-hand side for you if you want to look it up later on, and you'll probably need to look it up automatically. You're going to customize this to fetch weather data about your local area, and then what you're going to do is pass that data and display very, very simply for me the forecast for today. I want the text version of what the weather code says. I want to see the max and the minimum temperature, and I want it displayed in a really nice way. That way, you've got a REPL that you can run whenever you want to see what the weather is going to be like for the rest of the day. Once you're done, share it with us in the community by publishing it and using the hashtag replit 100 days of code so we can see it on social media. Tomorrow, we're going to be looking at combining two APIs together, one of which you'll need to sign up for and log into. But by combining these technologies together, we'll get some exciting outputs. You'll be using AI to summarize news stories.